Okay, good evening. I'd like to call the Monday, July 18th, 2022, regularly scheduled Bowen Select Board meeting to order. I'm Brad Town. With us tonight is on my left is Flo Smith and Dave Sawyer. On my right is Joe Staub, and on Zoom is Carl Part. Uh, with us also is Vince Connie, town administrator, and Diane Isabel, town treasurer. Uh, additions or changes to the agenda? Yes, there's one change. I uh, inadvertently forgot to delete the approval of minutes for the previous meetings. Uh, those minutes were already approved, uh, and there are no new uh, minutes ready for approval for this meeting, so that will be removed from the agenda. Okay, anything else? Not uh, update. I mean, uh, public comment. Hearing none. Um, update on board, up to the board on the town clerk and assistant town clerk positions. Uh, yep, very quickly, we have two residents that have applied for the town clerk's position. Uh, one was interviewed by the staff today with uh, very positive feedback from the staff on that interview. Uh, the second one was scheduled, but uh, had an out-of-town situation that had to reschedule. Uh, they will be interviewed tomorrow. Um, the, the thoughts are, uh, that I'll just put out to the board, are um, that uh, based on the second uh, interview and how that goes, um, if one of those two candidates um, seems qualified in uh, a good good selection, let's say. Um, the staff and I will make that decision and I would propose calling a special meeting Thursday to make the appointment, um, pending the, uh, the candidate's availability to start four degrees. Yeah. Anything else for Vince on this? Okay, uh, update on um, highway crew position. Yeah, uh, we uh, made an offer last Friday that was accepted. Um, the individual will be starting on August 1st um, for that, uh, to fill that. So the highway crew will be fully staffed as of August 1st. Okay. Um, final approval of a new town office cleaning contract. Yes. The, Way back, it seems like months ago, it wasn't quite that long ago, uh, I was asked to check on the uh, ability of them to be bonded. Uh, they've gone through that process. The owner uh, will be the one right now that did pass the uh, background investigation for the bonding and is, is bonded. I think she's been fingerprinted and completed that with the, with the police. Um, so uh, we've actually had a trial run with them in here as well. They've done a great job. I think the staff is uh, quite happy with uh, uh, how they perform. Um, so we're ready to move forward officially and make it official. Uh, I do have that in there for a motion on the cost and all that um, from the original uh, uh, bid, bid documents. So I think uh, I think from that perspective, we're in, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, entertain a motion. We'll move. Some money. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I know it was a, yeah. we voted on that before, didn't we? Yeah, like, I make a motion to accept uh, at the bottom the name of the company. Lamco Cleaning Services LLC. Proposed total for the first year is fourteen thousand zero forty dollars. I second that motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, approval of lump sum payment to Axon for police from the ARPA funds. Again, you've got some information in your packet. Uh, work with Axon for the uh, uh, body cameras. And it's a total cost of $17,825.90 for those. And he's been corresponding with the passive through PLCT. Um, and they, the lump sum payment, they would re reimburse almost half, $8,351.55 of that $17,000 total. Um, if they pay in installments, there's some risk there. 
because from year to year, their grants change. Um, so he would only get a portion this year of, I think it's around 2000 something or no, $1,670 instead of the full 8,000 if he makes it in installments. And that difference would be at risk over the installment payments, whether or not they offer the grant, how much they offer and so on. Um, again, so recommendation is obviously pay it full out of the, out of the IRPA funds and get that bigger reimbursement guaranteed up front. I have two questions, Chief. I wondered when it says this would also allow you to rework the grant application to include an ergonomic stand-up desk, which you should be able to purchase for under a thousand. Does the full cost include that? No, now? that's a that's a separate issue. Are you interested in that or We've no? Been looking at a setup like that for Bonnie um, okay. or admin. Mm -hmm. So I originally had included like an entire package with this three-year installment. Uh, ergonomic desk, so he said, send it back to me with a report, and he said, we can also Excellent. But the money they're offering would be separate. They cut us a separate check for that desk. And if we went with the route where you would be reimbursed the 8351 did they give you a time frame when you would receive the um, reimbursement of pro approximately? I, I, I don't know. I mean, we're already tentatively approved, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was pleased to hear you were sensibly approved. Yeah, That's uh, good. Last year, I think when they helped us out with body armor, it was several months before they got the money to us. But. Mm -hmm. yeah. Normally, the way that works is that once I pay for it improved it through the cancel check, they process it and they you know they keep me involved in the loop at that point. And that's usually about a month to six weeks. Excellent. Very good. And we've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. So is the total on a 60 month thing, 17,825.90, you said, with the reimbursement of the, the total is 17,000 before, the, reimb before, before the, reimbursement. the reimbursement. Correct. And the reimbursement is 83,51.55 of the 17,825.90. I make the motion to approve the one-time payment um, of $17,825.90 with the understanding of a reimbursement up to $8,351.55. Second out. Uh, any further discussion? Um, yeah, I was originally going to let Mr. Conti just kind of um, provide that information because it's pretty straightforward. But uh, we've had some good news over the last week, and I just wanted to share that for the board. We had uh, two officers graduate from the full-time academy. Um, on paper, we're full staff, uh, which is great because that's not really heard of from most of the state. Um, so, and we're moving in a direction where all our officers will be level three certified, which is a huge shift from last year at this time. Um, so we're in a good place. We'll have an officer be at the academy. So that's going to be a draw on the shift a little bit. Uh, we have an officer going out with an injury, with surgery. So... Again, we're going to be kind of stretching ourselves thin, but we're in the right direction. And I think six months from now, we're going to be in a really, really good place. Uh, I'm proud of our guys. We've got an award for academic excellence at the academy. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of a reflection on the department. So. I was impressed to see your post on social media. Well done. Yeah, and, good and definitely good congratulations. Any other comments? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, approval of licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. I make the motion to approve payroll warrant 23-02 for payroll from July 3rd, 2022 to July 16th, 2022 to be paid on July 20th of this year in the amount of $46,165.73. Also payable warrant 23 go 2 with checks 22139 to 22172 for payables in the amount of $33,063.08. Second down. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, motion carries. Um, Round table for you? No, not tonight. Thank you, though. Dave? I just, over that last meeting on uh, the Partridge Farm thing, I did a little bit more looking into that. I don't know if it's coming back up on the agenda, but 
you know, we were asked to take the roads over up there, which we did because they were built to town specs. But looking into that and thinking about it, I don't understand how we how we become a partner in this uh, rainwater runoff thing. I, I think that's something that I don't know how much where we're looking into it on, but I think legally, I don't think we're responsible to join them in that project. I think that we need to find out to our attorney. That, that's that. part of what I, I got to work on is getting in touch with the guy from DEC that made that statement uh, to Barton's Farm and understand, get an understanding to bring back to the board of where that comes from, from them and why. Yeah, because I pulled I up all the yet, but stuff when they were making references of uh, Weston's mobile home co-op joining with the town too. And I went through all that paperwork and I think that's something we definitely need more. Because you'd have, what is it, three acres of impervious? Yes. Yeah. There's a bunch of them throughout the state that they pinpointed, but you know, we took the roads on through that HOA to help to, you know, because they were designed to think that I don't see how that puts us in a position that we need to you know, join in that. Once we took those paved roads over. Yeah, but there's over 300, three acres of previous service without the roads, all the roof surfaces, right. driveways, right. stuff like that. So. Anything else, Dave? No. no. Joe? Um, yeah, just a couple things. Um, a few of us have discussed the, the dry hydrant and the Mirror Lake Road um, that has been um, inoperable since the, the culvert replacement several years ago. And uh, I was thinking that maybe the fire department, we have parts that could help you know, uh, fix that. I was hoping that maybe the town would be willing to uh, donate the equipment and maybe uh, the equipment operator to do the install. And we can, the fire department would give labor and materials. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's, that's something you're gonna wanna just look into or. Probably take and see what the, what the, are you digging in the water? It, there may be some work within the water, but my understanding, and this, this is where I'm going to rely on uh, maybe the town, and um, that would be Nick Arabachik also, who does all the grants that we've used for the dry hydrants. Um, I believe there is no permitting required for repair, um, but that's something we would have to have some sort of conversation with also Montpelier. I'm sure. I'm just offering right now material and labor. Yeah. You have to look in, uh, get a hold of Jaron Borg and yeah. see what his take on it is. But second, um, several years back, we started the conversation of the fire department has outsourced their accounting, and we currently are with Batchelors. We're on the second. Uh, second contract with batch elders. Um, and that costs the department plus the, the community um, quite a bit of money, upwards of over $900 a month for these services. Um, I was kind of wondering if with the hiring of the assistant treasurer and, and unknown how we're going to pay those the hourly rate or, or the salary on that, I can see the, the fire department subsidizing some of those funds in some way. I don't know if that's something um, that Vince and Diane would like to talk about. Yeah. Okay. See why it couldn't happen, you know, once, once she's on, you know, on board. Yeah. It would take a few months. At least. Okay. That's all I have. That sounds like a good move to me, too, you know, and, and fair enough that when she's on board and acclimated, et cetera, yeah. I think it could be a real win-win. Right. And plus, it's, it's a small piece of accounting that could really get her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, I'd be overseeing it, but it's something that she could more easily do and learn. Thank you, Diane. 
Yes. Anything, Vince? I might have one little thing um, <laughs> for the board to discuss um, with the town potential of a new town clerk going through the interview process. And I think Brad and I touched on this a little bit today. Um, expectations, right, from from the board and from the town. I've, I've got three of them listed um, that I want to make sure the board is okay with, or if they have anything else, they want to make sure that we, the staff, cover during the interview process, right? As I as, as we told the, the, the candidate today, um, we wanted the whole staff there so she could see what she's getting into, ask and ask questions and give her to her so she would fully understand, and we could fully understand her so she comes into it wide open and understanding everything, right? But but three of the three of the key ones that I think uh, are the office should be open five days a week, 40 hours a week um, for access, right? I think that's a that's a given that's been going on in discussions for a long time. So we want to be clear. Now, what does that mean and look like? As we told the clerk today, it's really up to their discretion, or whether it's her, whether it's an assistant, how, how they want to achieve that. We can be flexible, but the bottom line is we need to have that. People need to have access for five days a week, for 40 hours during that week. So that was one. Um, the other thing that that. I think I would be looking for as well with the staff is regular communication and participation in staff meetings. I haven't done any in a while uh, for a number of reasons, but my intent is to start those up at least monthly to have a full with the chief and everyone have a full staff meeting. What's going on? Um, you know, anybody in trouble? Can we help? And here's where we are with things and, and so on, uh, just to keep the communication paths open and everybody working together. Um, so that was another one. Uh, and then the willingness to work with the staff overall, right? on the modernization that we've already started doing with the equipment, um, with digitization of records specifically as well, um, to, to get that moving forward um, and, and get them on board. But again, I wanna put that out to the board. You probably all have some thoughts and ideas on what, the, what your expectations of that office is too. I just wanna make sure that we cover that right up front with everybody so there's no surprises. Anything else? Oh, that's it for me. If, if no executive session? No executive session. No executive session. Entertain a motion to adjourn. And there's just one thing I'd like to add. I wondered if you could um, discuss when I brought up to you that I was contacted by a resident on Chandler Road about the Lovers Lane Bridge oh, and how you're handling that and the follow up. I have followed up with the resident, um, but I yep. just wondered if you could uh, speak to that a yep. little. I got an email from uh, someone over there as well, and, and basically it's it's almost a canned response at this point. You know, from the town's perspective, we've done pretty much all that we can. I'm following up on a monthly basis with the Regional Planning Commission to follow up with the state to see where they are. It's on their priority list to be done, but there's no commitment date or time for it to be done. Um, and that's the best information that I can get that I have right now that I'm, that I'm sharing with, with people ask. We're hoping this year, but again, we're mid-July. It's not on any schedules, confirmed on any schedules as of yet. Um, but we're still hoping. Very well. Thank you very much. One more thing now that you say that. What, uh, what's the deal with this Muzzy Road sign? It just keeps coming up and seeing it. Okay, three out of the last five years, the sign's been stolen. Um, it's, it's an ongoing, or three out of the last four, something like that. Um, it's either they've driven over the post to knock it down and taken the sign. Uh, they've cut the post to take the sign, and they've taken the sign. Um, Tim thinks this, this one, we probably helped make it easy because it was done during the winter. They did, they don't normally, but they did plow snow up uh, up close to the sign, so it was easy to walk up and steal it. Um, but for some reason, people like that Muzzy Road sign. But this will be the fourth one, uh, the third, I think, since I've been in here, um, that we've replaced. Okay. So he's going to order one. You know, they're about 35 bucks a pop. Um, he's going to order another one. We did check with Fast and All. Uh, Brad had made a suggestion about some security type hardware. They don't really have much to offer. And the uh, fact of the matter, like, like Tim said, was if they want it, they're going to take a sawzall and cut the post again and, and, and take it anyway. Yeah. So then we'll, we'll replace a post and a sign rather than just the sign. Just sign. Okay. So. How about a name change to the road? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. I make the motion to adjourn tonight's regularly scheduled meeting. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye.
We're adjourned. <laughs>